you can definitely overfeed a plant. Ultimately, in the root zone, there's a situation that we call osmotic pressure. So when there are more salt in the actual plant material that's above the ground, water and salt will go up. If we have the reverse occurring, where we have loaded the root zone to the point where there is more salt in the root zone than there is in the plant tissue above ground, the osmotic pressure will be so strong that the plant is literally struggling for water and nutrient uptake. So the threshold does, uh, is based on the size of the plant. Like a, a fruit tree will have a lot more drawing power than a two or three foot tall plant. So in general, a basic guideline would be about 2,000 parts per million. If we're checking runoff or the amount of nutrient that's actually in the root zone, once we start hitting up towards 1,800 parts per million, we're starting to move into the danger zone. Because if we allow that number to actually tip the scales up into the 2,000 range, and we run into that situation where the osmotic pressure in the root zone is so strong, it's gonna become very difficult to reduce the nutrient levels in that root zone. That's why it's very important that we're always paying attention and not allowing those numbers to go beyond acceptable levels. So for example, in a drain to waste medium, we'd wanna roll between 1,000 and 1,400 parts per million in runoff numbers. In a hydroponic recirculating garden, in our, in our nutrient solution, we can also maintain basic numbers within those parameters. It is possible to overfeed plants, and the way that they normally show that is what we call tip burn. So on the tips of the petals, they will show some browning. There have been many growers that have chosen to feed their plants until they achieve a small amount of tip burn so they know what the max level that plant can take under certain conditions. For example, when our plants are CO2 enriched, they're definitely gonna need a lot more food than if they are not CO2 enriched. So these circumstances definitely depend on the environment and the strain, and we need to figure out what is the optimum food levels for each given strain in its given environment.